if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 84 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with a rather big game at home against Atletico Madrid. It's the Madrid derby, well the biggest of the Madrid derbies. Obviously you've got Hatafe and Rayo Vallecano as well, but this is the one that sticks out on the fixed list against Atleti. They're currently uh, not having the best of starts to the season. We've already played one game domestically and they drew, no they won 1-0. Oh, fair enough, they won 1-0 against Deportivo. I thought they'd drawn it to be honest, but never mind. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We're obviously on the back of uh, an interesting international special where uh, we uh, we really be, you know came to appreciate just how good this Real Madrid side is. So hopefully we can have as good a game against uh, Atleti as we did against Zaragoza and uh, hopefully back that up as well with a win in the Champions League. Our first group stage game coming up against Santetti and we also have Anderlecht and, uh, and Schalke. So uh, hopefully we can top that group. I'd like to think we can top that group. And also, Schalke would probably go through with us. But uh, it'd be nice if we could win all six in. That would be fantastic. We are still on Legendary, of course. And uh, Atleti will be a very tough test. But we'll do our best. And we'll see if we can instigate what happens on the pitch. Uh... You know, as best as we possibly can, hoping so very, very much that we can get to 90 rated in today's episode. If we can, that'd be fantastic. If not, we'll just have to try harder next time because we've got the El Clasico in the next episode as well. But uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. The side here at Real Madrid is just incredible. You can see just how amazing each player is. Pepe 83 is the worst player in the starting lineup and he's only starting because 88 rated Sergio Ramos is out injured otherwise that everyone would be 85 plus. So uh, I love this side. I'm so glad that we moved to Real Madrid and hopefully we can have another three points today as well. Marcelo to me. We'll lay that across there to Lucas Toro. He's going to use me again. We go through that gap to Karim Benzema. We have done. Here's Modric with the shot. Good save by Jan Oblak. Is that going to go for a corner? It's not, is it? It's not even going to go out. Oh, it has. Well done, Gareth. Just try and open the game up a little bit with by adding a little bit of extra pace into the uh, the movement. It's been quite domestic and quite uh, pedestrian the way the ball's been played about so far. But oh, Bale has kept that in. Luis has had to uh, tackle that out. He let that go there, Felipe Luis, and that was a, a deadly mistake potentially. If we can get a winner from this uh, or a goal to go in front from this corner, Oblak can only punch that clear. I don't know why Ronaldo's taking the. Uh, the, the corners, he's surely one of the best headers in world football. So uh, we'd want him on the end of the corners, but that's been drilled in. Bale with the shot, it's going to be a third corner blocked by, was it Oliver Torres? That's who they're showing there. Good hit by Bale on his uh, right foot first time. Where's this corner going to go from Ronaldo? In towards the middle, and eventually Oblak comes and claims properly. But things are getting dangerous for Atleti at the back. We've uh, been able to pressure them so much so that they made a couple of mistakes there, especially with Felipe Luis giving away the uh, the corner after a lack of concentration. So hopefully it won't be long before we actually take the lead. That wasn't the best of balls by Ronaldo, though, looking for me. But Benzema's won it back, and then immediately runs straight into Wanfran. Give that out wide to Danilo. Bale's making the run down the line. Eventually, Danilo might use him, or he could turn back inside to me. In the end, he's used Pepe, who will give it to me, and I'll give it to Modric. And where's oh, Benzema? Make a run, Karim. Nice footwork from Modric to get past the defender there. I'll call for this, and we'll help it on to Karim Benzema. And he may have a shot, but he's been tackled, but he's won it back, and then he's been tackled again. And Matuidi's just had to clear the lines. It's another Real Madrid corner. We've had plenty of these in the first half. But no real opportunities from them. We had that Bale shot earlier on. And Bale could be on the end of this. It was actually Rafael Varane with the header from the corner. But wide of the target. And that's half time. Varane quickly to me. Ronaldo has got plenty of space to run into. And will thread it into his path. Doesn't even have to break stride to get on the end of that. Cristiano's turning inside. He's gone for a Cristiano Ronaldo special. Oh, Jan Oblak. What a reaction save. Ronaldo hitting the bar. I think Jan Oblak, Jan, Jan Oblak may have even touched that Ronaldo shot onto the bar. And then, oh. Fingertip stuff to make the second save from Karim Benzema. Just oh, gorgeous save from Jan Oblak. That's ridiculous. Another Real Madrid corner at the very beginning of the second half. Bail to take this time. Up goes the man in the box. It is Ronaldo and it's headed towards the bottom corner. Oh no, Benzema's headed that over me. And it's going to be another corner as the shot from Modric is deflected wide. Incredible spell of Real Madrid pressure here in like the last 15 minutes of the first half and the first five of the second. That was a terrible corner from Cristiano. Really, really bad. That's why we want him in the middle. He won a great header from the first corner and then 
Oh, Jackson Martinez. Oh, wow. He's just going to run around the outside of me, is he? Fair enough. Okay, maybe we need to get a little bit quicker. I'm running out of stamina as well, which doesn't help, as you can see bottom right. Jackson Martinez with a cross. That's dangerous. I thought that was going to fly all the way in. Wowzers. Electric start to the second half after uh, we were really putting the pressure on at the end of the first, but still no goals. Did All Black make a save from this or did Ronaldo just crack the bar? No, he just cracked the bar from 25, 30 yards. Brilliant strike. So unlucky not to give us a wonder goal to go 1-0 in front. One friend down the line to Oliver Torres. Is it going to go out? No, Leo Baptista brings it down. Turns his side nicely to Oliver Torres. Back playing the 1-2. Looks for the cross, but Pepe blocks it. Cleared away by Modric, but only as far as Oliver Torres. Don't tell me Atleti are going to steal all three points here at the end of the game. That would be devastating. Juan Fran trying to get the ball in. It's a heavy touch, so Modric will win it back. And he's just had to clear it. Can't really do much else with it there. And that's going to be a throw for us. Nicely done by Diego Godin. At heart, on the halfway, sorry. We're making a change now. Lucas Torres coming off and new signing Yuri Tielemans comes on for the very first time. He was brought in in the same transfer window as us uh, earlier on in the season. Here is he on the ball immediately, getting involved into Danilo. Looking to myself or Modric, not sure. Tielemans on the ball again. I'll call for it from him. Uh, I've been moved to left striker, actually, so I'm... Really, I want to be further up the pitch than where I am right now. But Marcelo there with a heavy touch. Yuri Tilons helps it to me. I just need to hold the defender off. We'll get a free kick here, hopefully. And we'll have a chance at the very end of the game. It's going to be Cristiano to take it. Can we win the game with the last kick of the ball? Come on, Cristiano. You hit the bar once. Goes for the free kick. It's well over the top of the bar. Really disappointing effort from Cristiano. You really want more from, your, from one of the world's best players. Arguably the second best player in the world. Cristiano... You could say maybe he's the first at times on form, maybe the third, thanks to Neymar and Suarez. But uh, Cristiano, you want a player like that to come up with a golden moment when he has the opportunity to win the game for you in the last, uh, you know, the last seconds. And he's just not done it, unfortunately. The closest we came was that shot off the bar from Cristiano uh, early on in the second half. But unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for a point here against Atleti. Never mind. We'll push forward into the game against Setetien, which should be uh, a more comfortable game. That was definitely difficult against Atletico Madrid. Although they didn't create anything. It felt like they had uh, a couple of chances on goal. Clearly, they didn't. Never mind. They kept a lot of the ball. Hmm. We'll have to uh, bear that in mind. Maybe we might need to drop it down to world class again if that is a pattern that continues. But um, in the first few games at Real, things were, uh, you know, chances at both ends in like the Spanish Super Cup, etc. So uh, we'll give it another couple of games on Legendary, another couple of episodes, and uh, we'll see how things go. Hopefully we can get some goals against St. Etienne. Danilo out to Benzema. Nicely inside to Lucas Toro, to Danilo. Oh, I was just about to call for that on the far side, but Benzema's going to find me. Get it out of your feet, Chess. Have the shot looking for the top corner over the top of the bar. Perhaps a little bit greedy to have a shot in that situation. My first touch had been a little bit better. We might have been able to work a better opportunity, but never mind. First chance of the game comes and goes, but not on target. Out wide to Teofield Caterine. Used to be at Cardiff in the Premier League. When they were in the Premier League, I think, Teofield Katarina. Kiko Casilla can only palm that into danger. We'll call for this from Bale. That is the worst attempted dink pass I think I've seen for a while. But Lucas Toro will help it on to Cristiano. And maybe we might be able to catch him on the counter-attack and have an opportunity. I'll call for it here in the middle. There's Modric making a great run. He's such a good player, Luka Modric. Makes all the right runs at the right time. Unfortunately, though, apparently doesn't pass the ball at the right time and decides to run straight into the defender. I'll try and win it back again. My guy, not very strong. Really need to up my strength. I'll have to look at the uh, accomplishments and see what I need to do to uh, to get more strength. Because my guy keeps getting shrugged off the ball, which is quite frustrating when uh, when trying to build some opportunities. Just you know, play, do some hold up play, hold the man off, and then play a pass. But nice ball into Beric. Another shot for uh, Sintetti and deflected off Danilo out for a corner to the visitors. It's pouring it down with rain here in Madrid. We'll hopefully get this one away. That corner is dangerous actually. Modric has to head it behind for another corner. Hopefully St Etienne uh, aren't going to take the lead here five minutes before half-time. It'll be a horrible time for them to take the lead. That's crossed in. Casillas come for it and he's been able to palm it clear. Danger averted. Five minutes to go till half-time. Marcelo. Cristiano's making moves on the left. Nice. I think that was actually just a turn from Marcelo, but it ended up at Modric's feet, so we'll keep possession here. Modric gets it from Cristiano, finds me. I'll try and get the turn in and look for Lucas Toro. Could tell him to have a shot, and he has done. Oh, wow. Apparently, Lucas Toro isn't that good at shooting. Either that or that was a one-off, terrible shot. But that is what you call an absolute swing and miss. Benzema, good strength. Toe pokes it to Bale. Into Lucas Toro. Oh, another chance for Lucas Toro. This one with a much better connection on it. Just Benzema showing the strength to get off the shrug off the defender. 
really nice little one-touch passing move. Unfortunately, Lucas Toro snapshot closer than the last one, but uh, still not very good. Marcelo, I've been switched to left striker again, as you can see from the uh, the bottom, or could see from the bottom right of the screen. Cristiano, that's a lovely turn inside. Go on a nice driving run. Go on, Cristiano, keep going. I'm getting in the box, but I'm absolutely shattered, and Cristiano's gotten himself tackled. Things aren't necessarily going according to plan today, although that might drop kindly to Bale. Why have you shot from there, mate? Oh, Danilo steals that nicely off Mone Pake, and it looks like the man there is going to make me a nice run. We'll play him in. It's Vallejo, or the centre-back, pushing all the way forward. I didn't realise it was a centre-back, otherwise I wouldn't have passed it to him. Barcelo looking for the man in the middle, who was offside, and it's cleared away, but Modric brings it down, and then gives it straight back to Sintetti, and Mone Pake and Diamande could uh, bring it away for them, but they've been forced backwards by, it. again, good defending. Holland, Matt, they're playing it about nicely. Look at this passing from Sintetti, and they've done this all game. I'm getting slightly concerned though, that at the lack of goals in uh, this series right now on Legendary. Here's Hamuma. As soon as I say that, they might go and score. Hamuma, no, a shot wide. With, uh, if you include the international games in the last episode, this could be, if it finishes as is, four nil-nil draws in a row on Legendary. So I'm contemplating dropping it back down to at least world class for, uh, for an episode or two to see if that livens up the way that uh, the, the, uh, the CPU plays. Because... You saw in the last game, Atleti had 58% possession, but no chances whatsoever, which is just stupid. And initially on Legendary, when we had the uh, the games against Valencia in the Copa del Rey, it was brilliant. There were chances at both ends absolutely flying in, goals going in as well. But unfortunately, the past four games have been pretty dry when it comes to a chance. It's Hamuma into Berit, who heads that away from goal rather than towards it. So I'll probably play the next one on Legendary for El Clasico. And then after that, if it's another... Uh, episode where there isn't too many chances then we'll contemplate dropping it back down that was why we were on professional at Everton because uh, oh no my guys missed the header that was why we were on professional at Everton because uh, the CPU weren't creating many chances and uh, the you know the general gameplay was more entertaining but it got to the point where the CPU wasn't creating any chances on professional so uh, we stepped it up to legendary and now it's got to the point where the CPU weren't creating any chances on legendary either so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next episode and we'll play it by ear another nil nil draw unfortunately there were a few chances in that one a little bit wasteful from uh, Lucas Toro uh, I was quite heavily involved I only had the one shot but uh, you can see there are plenty of passes 90% passing accuracy as well again 50-50 split on possession three chances for them four for us but none on target Really frustrating, unfortunately. Barcelona get a 2 0 win over Ajax. Uh, who were the other teams in our group? It was Schalke and Anderlecht, wasn't it? And a 1 0 draw between them. So it's all uh, to play for in the group stage, as it would be regardless of school lines, I suppose, after one game in the group. But everybody is on uh, one point. I'm just going to quickly uh, train. Maybe, just maybe, we can get up to 90 rated. Oh, no, it's because we haven't finished the week. All right, never mind. Well, it'll be Hetafe next then. We'll play Hetafe, another Madrid derby. Uh, to be fair, and then uh, Barcelona tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, you'll see this Thursday, Saturday. Hatafe and Barcelona Saturday, if uh, it's a little bit dull again with Legendary, then we'll drop it down to World Class for Sociedad and Andalet and then see what happens there. But that's all for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll try and edit this in such a way that it is entertaining and it's not kind of just revolving around two nil-nil draws. But thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your feedback in the comment section down below. But for now, I'll see you next time.